Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Last time, we defeated the Yuga clan, who were trying to hold a the a Akala Citadel. And this time, we've unlocked the entire universe, as we know it, in uh, side quests on the overworld. So, we're going to be doing those for quite some time. And starting off, let's go to where the hints are telling me to go. Oh, for help on the road, a wary traveller is upset to have crossed the desert in search of the great fairy fountain, only to find he doesn't have enough for an offering. You should help him, right? Materials needed 4,500 rupees. Bravo! Superb. The traveller came back to Gerudo Town after making the offering to the great fairy and rewarded you with double what you gave him. Maybe travelers are, are always uh, be so blessed. Or may travelers always be so blessed. Well, that's nice. Oh my goodness, and we unlocked more things. Okay, uh, a Korok wants to propose a flower, or oh, most peculiar Korok, a Korok wants to I uh, possess a flower that swirls with butterflies that the creature seems to know about uh, the Korok uh, community and may ha have something special to tell you if you're if you help. This seems good. This seems good. The Korok got their flower that blooms and swirls with butterflies. In return, they taught you about a Korok hiding place that no one knows about. See Korok details in battle info. So that's interesting. So, if I go, I think, to a battle info. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. If we go over to a, a battle, we can see the Korks we've collected at the bottom of the screen. We have four out of seven on the first one. So we can see that we're missing some. So that's going to be interesting. Looks like we're going to be taking quite a while if we want to actually collect all the Koroks. So that, that shows everything I wanted to know. This is so useful. But also now I have to go back and do all previous levels to try and find secrets again. Well, that's fine by me at this point because that's pretty good. I don't know what the... Oh, it, way up there. Okay. It's really useful. I can't do this because I don't have enough the chicken. Let me do that. Uh, I've, I can do that, so I don't need, actually need to mark that. So I'm going to undo that. Now, let's go take a look at the map and see if we can buy chicken somewhere. Doesn't look good for me. Okay, then. That's unfortunate. I might be able to get it from a challenge or something else, possibly. But that looks like something I'm going to want, so I'm going to try and unlock that as soon as possible. But for now, let's take a look at some of these other things we've got on the map, probably. Is there anything that looks really important? I don't know. There's these stars. Oh, those just unlock after you we've completed a certain amount of stuff. Okay. So that's what the stars are. So there's quite a few of those that appeared, I'm pretty sure. Although, now looking at them, there's not a ton. Oh, there's a few. But anyway, that's interesting to keep track of. Frog side effects. Link has been asked to help Princess Zelda study the effects of frog-based elixirs. She needs more specimens to use in her experiments. Why doesn't uh, he make himself useful and catch some? Link brought an impressive haul of frogs to the research lab. Princess Zelda used the abundant uh, amphibians to make great strides in her research. Link's special gauge plus one. Very nice. He wants me to forge some weapons together. Um, can't do that. Let's have a look at some other things though. What is this? A sparkling solution. You meet the dye merchant again and learn that he needs 
uh, gems for dyes. And to fund his business, it seems that he can't create colors without the gems. How curious. The dye merchant created new colors using the gems you provided. There should be a new selection of colors in stock now. It's worth checking out. New colors in the dye shop. Let's actually check the dye shop because I haven't actually had a look at all the things. So, there's several things we could be doing. Uh, but I don't think that I want to actually do this. I could make everything blue. For, for the low, low price of 600 rupees. Okay, some of these are very expensive. Oh my goodness. I might not. I wasn't going to anyway, but anyway. Okay. Helping out at Hutno Pasture. Hutno Pasture is looking to charge or change its wheat supplier. No matter the ex expense, they want higher quality crops to feed their livestock and stuff their pillows. Tabantha is farmed or famed for its wheat, but... Why, why did it cut off? Oh. The family at Hatano Pasture was uh, over the moon about those... Oh dear. Just hang on. The family at Hatano Pasture was, were, was over the moon about those beautiful golden wheat street uh, stalks. Uh, they soon signed a deal with the with a grower in Tabantha, de, uh, depending, uh, deepening the bond between their two villages. Impa special gauge plus one, very nice. I don't know how I've been selecting the ones that have though, randomly. But anyway, uh, lighting the way, Eastern Hyrule was, has developed to the point that people rely on the transport of goods day and night gather all the light sources you can uh you can to make the roads safe to travel after dark with your light sources installed the roads got brighter and let that led to more people than ever traveling the roads that will aid the region in its development Discount in East Hyrule, 10%. That's pretty nice. What bad weather. A merchant group wants to improve the flow of regional goods around Western Hyrule. Help them prepare for uh, the varied climates they'll travel through. You did well. Thanks to your help, the merchant group was ready for anything. Heat, cold or lightning. They'll continue to keep moving goods for the sake of everyone in their regions. Discount in West Hyrule, 10%. It's just so good. Explosive End Endeavors. There's a researcher at the Ancient Tech Lab who is passionate about the science of combustion. He thinks he can make remote bombs even more potent given a few guardian parts. <laughs> for once. Though the inner workings of remote bombs are still shrouded in mystery, there's no doubt that the materials you provided led to a boost in their explosive potential. Reduce time between remote bomb uses. Recovery time after using uh, remote bombs is now shorter. That's useful. Okay, let's see, what else do I want to do? I could do basically anything. But I really think that this over here is looking very good. Keep a cool head wherever, uh, whether because of uh, body heat or a fluke of air temperature, the room designed for Sheikah Slate research is unbearably hot and stuffy. Help those poor research researchers cool it down. The researchers could focus much better with white choo choo jelly cooling them off. Their work progress by leaps and bounds. They even came up with more po uh, potent versions of Cryonis. Recovery time after using Cryonis is now shorter. So that's two things for the Sheikah Slate that are going to go by faster now. And if I could see another one, I don't think there is. Oh, there is. Shocking fear. The researchers are planning to develop improvements to, for magnets. Uh, but they're concerned about the risk of 
Electrocation. Make maybe there's something you can do to ally allay their fears. Amazing. With a boost to their electricity resistance, the researchers were able to work in perfect safety. Soon they developed a major upgrade to the Magnesis ability. Recovery time after Magnesis is now shorter. There's also this one over here, but we don't have the parts for it, so I'm gonna register it instead of conducting or conductive to conducting. So that's that now. Um looks like there's nowhere I can actually just buy the parts for that. But we can see what, what challenges are gonna be useful. And actually I could do one now. Possibly, but I think I'm gonna hold off for a second. Gut check challenge. A new event called the Gut Check Challenge has been set up at the at the famed Gut Check Rock. Lord Daruk will take the first climb. Give him a gift to help him scale the rock more qu quickly. <laughs> with throngs of spectate oh, with throngs of spectators looking on, Daruk took the Gut Check Challenge for the first time and made it all the way to the top. Excitement filled the air as others attempted to match his feet. Daruk special gauge plus one. Very nice. There's also this over here which we'll have to keep an eye on but we're gonna need more monster parts for that. It's a shame I just sold a bunch not too long ago. Okay. Soothing tensions. Impa was is worried about the researchers at the Royal Tech Lab. Their work uh, has hit an impasse and they're all feeling frustrated. Maybe there's something you can do to ease that ease the tension. It seems I've grown the Royal Tech Lab was steep, uh, steeped in calming vapors. With their frayed nerves soothed, the researchers made a major breakthrough. You can expect even better results than from them now. Sheikah Slate bonus combo. And that's actually a lot of extra combo for X2 and X3. So anyway, I think now with all that done, let's go to Protector of the Forest, Pilot Divine Beast Far Meadow. Let's do it. It's been a while since we actually used Far Meadow. But it's been even longer since we used the other Guardians, or Divine Beasts, those ones. So, we'll get to that, probably, maybe? I don't know if we're going to actually use them again. But anyway. Let's do this thing, and hopefully not fail, because I'm very good at failing at the Divine Beasts. For some reason, I don't know. Here we go, start battle. Onward, uh, Vermeer, it's time to show them what we're capable of. Defeat me as m <laughs> defeat many enemies. We need to defeat two thousand. Their numbers are irrelevant. They're simply no match for us. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ravali. I was I was very worried for a second there, but now I'm way more confident that we are gonna not die. He's done. Oh, we probably get a lot of kills just by using the screen kill thing as well. That's right, Vermeer. Let's show them what you're made of. Oh, can I actually hit you? Go, 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 go. Thank you. Let's use this again. It's probably going to even just keep spawning in more things for us to fight. As we go, I might actually use my special laser beams. Get everything ever. Oh my goodness, so much power. I just cleaned up half the map. Oh my goodness. Let's go this way, probably. And you can see what I mean about being careful which way your guard, the Divine Beast, is going compared to you're aiming because you can see the head is not actually moving along with everything else. Let's see what we can destroy with this. Not a bunch, but a fair bit. 
if I can get this guy down here or that, both of them maybe. Let's use that. I don't know how well that worked. Oh, not perfect, but okay. How about we use our special again just to destroy everything in the known universe? Defeated 1000. And now there's barely anything left on the map. Let us take a look at this over here. Can I destroy this, please? Yes. Also, I can destroy this guy. Oh, please, 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 please. I can slow down. That's interesting. By holding back, I can actually slow down the movement. Which is strange. I didn't realize that was going to be a thing, but apparently it is. Also, there's so many more enemies on the map now. So I might want to go take a look at those. Let's change our viewpoint. And actually get a better look at this. And then if I can, let's use that. Very nice. Take out some more of these. Oh, hey, there's a lot of things behind me now, isn't there? A fair bit. Okay, then. Well, let's get started by using our special. <laughs> because it's so good to just destroy literally everything in existence. Almost there. There we go. Satisfactory at best. What do you mean? It was so cool. Protector of the forest. Victory. It's so good. So, so good. Okay, we only got 600 rupees for that, but we've got a fair bit now. Also another 400. Hey, it gave me the thing I needed for the other thing. Let me go do the thing with the thing with the thing. You know the thing? That thing. Yes. Okay, it's looking good. I'm enjoying myself right now. A lot. Oh, it's more, more things unlocking. We're never gonna be at the end of this. Feed the researchers available. One of the new researchers has strong insights, but an even shorter appetite. She says she can't form a thought unless her belly is full. Make a large meal to feed her genius. Bravo, After cleaning her plate, the researcher sank her teeth into her work, and soon enough she discovered and uh, discovered how to make the Sheikah slate sensor more powerful. More Sheikah sensor registrations. The number of registrations for the Sheikah sensor has been increased. That's very useful. Because I was going around to all these m markers and I was marking them on the, sh the sensor, but I can only mark up to two things before. But now, I can mark up to three. So, let's figure out what we're going to do now. There's a lot of flashing green things on the map now, which is good. You know, when I first started going through this, I was not expecting there to be this many challenges on the side. But anyway... Diving as battle training. It seems that by dividing the bottom of their river and collecting sunken Lumerous Stones, Mifa may learn how to move and attack more fluidly. Get it? Because, like, water is a fluid. Mifa collected an enormous number of Lumerous Stones from the riverbed, leaving not one behind. She emerged from the water with improved swimming and spear skills, as well as a new move. Mifa bonus X combo, which can also be come from two positions on the Y combo, which is useful. Linnea really reaches level 1 increase. Very, very, very good. Let's take a look at this one over here. The treasure hunter's technique. The treasure hunter hunters lurking in the ruins seem quite adept at, at fighting monsters. If Link gives them something to make exploring easier, they might be persuaded to teach him their ways. Mm. Among the treasure hunters was a claymore expert, as, as thanks for the supplies he gave Link a, masters, a master class on using two-handed weapons. Link's two-handed weapon gets a regular attack extra Y combo thing. That's a mouthful. 
Okay. I'm actually getting through a lot of this a lot faster, but there's a lot of challenges is the is the thing, so. We're gonna need a lot more materials for everything, oh my goodness. Some of the things that were flashing before aren't flashing anymore, which means that I just the materials are all gone. Hey, I can actually go buy some materials in here. What do I need? I need Octo Balloon. How many do I need? I don't know. But they're really cheap, so I could just buy all of them. And that's probably fine. Okay, we can actually do this. Tactics for small foes. The instructor at the military training camp is studying how to best to fight smaller monsters. Bring him what he needs to develop tactics for the pint size problems. Amazing. The instructor studied what you had uh, what you brought and soon developed a groundbreaking approach to battling small monsters. He will add it to the training options. Military training camp discount. That's good. So, what does this mean? Does it just mean there's. It probably just means it's less rupees for increasing levels. Link is just so much higher level than everyone else. I don't understand why, because I don't actually use him that much. Every time I'm on the overworld, I'm usually using different characters, so... It's actually been fairly rare to see Link sometimes. But anyway, I think that is it for this episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Next time we're going to be cleaning up some more things in the overworld, because there's just so many. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.